Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, bright and early. Chris has uh, gone to tune a vehicle that someone is doing a swap in. And so I am going to show you how to repair your armrest where the leather pulls out of the handle over time. So it's very easy. It's just, it takes a lot of patience, a lot of time. And usually uh, you have to have a, like your fingernail. Um, sometimes you can use a pick. I don't recommend this because you can puncture the leather with the pick. Um, you can use like, uh, I find best like a curved interior tool or, um, something very similar, like a curved interior tool, something like that. Um, best for me because I can kind of actually feel what I'm doing and where I'm tucking the material. Um, some people online have used a credit card, um, or like a MVP card, a grocery store card I don't find that that works as well just because the angle that you need to get in there so we'll show you how to do it so as you can see right here this um, handle has a lot of material pulled out it's actually been torn just a little bit right there but if you can kind of see right here you just want to like wrap over pull over the material and then just start tucking when you pull it over you there's like a little plastic ridge that you can feel with your fingernail and you just work it over time work it over time just like that so i'll do that and then i'll show you guys the finished product kind of see right here there's a lot more material here and then just get that little the little lip in there and just slowly all the way up there just like that and then um i recommend uh not only for this part of your door handle but also so that this part doesn't pull away um, i recommend always opening and closing your door handle like this so Perfect. Okay, so as you see right here, we've gotten probably um, maybe all but like 25% of it tucked. It's been pulled out for so long that what it needs to do is it needs to kind of sit here for a minute. I'm gonna put some leather conditioner on it and uh, wipe it over so that it'll stretch the leather out so that it can tuck into the little slot there. But as you can see, it's all tucked back in there. There's that one little spot right here that um, was torn. Um, you know, when it stays out over time like that, it'll, it'll tear a little bit. Um, so the best thing to do is, as soon as it kind of starts to pull out, tuck it back in. Um, and that way you can maintain that uh, pretty easily. Like I said, we're going to put a little leather conditioner on this one and then um, pull the leather tight and then tuck it back in. That'll kind of like give it a little stretch or a little flex. The leather is really um, dry. This car, unfortunately, wasn't taken, it was taken care of, but not to like the car show level of um, care. So we're going to do this also to the other side as well and finish that up so that we can um, just fix a, a few small little things um, that are pretty common with G8s that um, break down over time or just happen over time. Like, you know, the headliner, Chris got that all tucked back up there. So it's not hanging on our head when we're driving. So anyway, hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, and so now we're on the passenger side. It looks like this one hasn't been out very long or either um, they didn't use it, uh, didn't have a passenger as often just because the leather is not torn. Um, it actually is very flexible, whereas the other one was kind of um, dried and cracked. So we're gonna, like I said, just start 
tucking this bad boy back in. And this one will turn out much better than the other one. It's just gonna look a lot better. But then again, probably not a lot of people are using that, but you can kind of see, um, you know, it's just going back in, it's going in very easily. We're able to tuck it all the way in and just making a uh, better progress. But I was just gonna video this last little bit for you so you can kind of see when the leather is not damaged, gosh, it is so much easier and so much quicker to tuck. Um, you can see like at the end, there wasn't enough material, but you know, because I was able to pull it over. So when the leather is nice and healthy um, and not dry and cracked and damaged um, it'll tuck in and actually um, pull over and tuck in much easier and it'll stay there longer as well okay so there's the finished product right there it's um, a very small cosmetic change but it will instantly make your car look so much better um, and it only takes a small amount of time to do um, it's just like i said it's just patience and just continuing, you know, you're tucking like a millimeter of material at a time. And so that's why sometimes it can be very frustrating. But if you stick it out, um, it will improve the cosmetic uh, appearance for you and it just looks so much better.